Rini is on her way. Joining us as well. Super consistent here in Kailua Kona. Lots of top tens and Ironman champion. Third year in 2015, the USA's Tim O'Donnell. And ladies and gentlemen, strange to think that he did his first triathlon at the age of 15. <laughs> and uh, 20 odd years later, we're calling him a rookie. He's an eight time world champion from Spain. Back on our stage, lovely to chat to you again, Marinda Carfrey. Uh, welcome back, our three time Ironman world champion. It's been a beauty to watch on the running course. Uh, lots of Sydney point three racing this year, really, uh, with a win. Uh, great to win shoulder, shoulder with your husband, I would imagine. What a beautiful experience that was. Um, but I want to ask you first about Izzy and, and what that brings to your life. You know, sometimes when you speak to pro athletes, they struggle to recover between the hard sessions. But I would imagine Izzy gives you a wonderful excuse to, ru to uh, recover between sessions. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all about Izzy these days. Um, I turn up to signings and people just ask where Izzy is. Um, it's quite refreshing and, um, and obviously we, we love it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's different this year, I'm not going to lie. It's, um, it's challenging to schedule training and, um, with, with an infant and now a toddler. Uh, but it's a challenge that we welcome and, and we love. And um, it's changed my perspective on everything. Triathlon is very important and something I do because I love doing it and I'm passionate about it. But um, I mean, Izzy and my husband are the most important things in my life. And um, yeah, I'm just happy to be back here and um, some new faces to race this year, uh, which is exciting for me. Um, uh, yeah, I'll see how I measure up against the, the new talent. I have no doubt you've been keeping an eye on their talents and you've been listening to what they say, but you know, it's not just racing yourself and racing the elements, it's shoulder to shoulder racing. And you've been working very hard at, at the three disciplines I hear on the bike. You, you're super dangerous these days. Just talk us through what you're looking forward to on, summer, on Saturday. Oh, look, no one needs to worry about me. I'm a has-been um, <laughs> mum. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I obviously working really hard to get back um, so that I can be in shape to, to race on, on, on this level again. Um, obviously having a daughter I didn't really know, it's all new territory coming back after having a little baby and um, every race I've been super surprised with um, how I've performed. Um, my first race back in April I was shocked at the finish line, I was finishing second and I thought I'd be 10 minutes behind the lead. So. Yeah, uh, pr pleasantly surprised with how this season's gone. Um, mentally, I feel fresh, which I think is really important after having a year off. And I'm just, yeah, excited to, to get back out there and tackle this course and, um, and race against these girls. Three-time Ironman world champion representing Australia. Thank you very much, Melinda Parker. I agree, girls, don't worry about her. <laughs> She's not even back there, don't worry. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, it's been an amazing year. Um, you know, I think at this point last year, uh, Isabel was only about seven or eight weeks old. And I was out on the race course expecting to get this magic dad strength um, <laughs> that was just going to carry me through. And I quickly realized when I uh, hit the Queen K on the run that wasn't the case. Um, so, you know, I was really physically fit last year, but uh, mentally and emotionally a little bit um, drained for, for the right reasons. Uh, so I've learned a lot over the year and um, you know, now mentally prepared to uh, not rely on that magic uh, this year, but just uh, mental focus and uh, staying tough. Part of the magic I would imagine is being able to race with your wife and how special was it at Augusta, both of you taking the top step of that podium just a, a couple of weeks before coming here? Yeah, well, um, I mean, number one, it's great to, to be coming into form at, at this time of year. Um, obviously, Rini had a slow start with uh, coming back from pregnancy and I broke my foot in January and was in a boot for eight weeks, so both of us kind of um, eased into the year. But uh, you know, winning as a couple, that's only the third time we've, we've done it together. And uh, now with having you know, Izzy here, it's, it's made it all the more special. So we cherish those moments, no matter uh, what finish line it is, um, to be able to do that together. It's pretty awesome. Third in 2015, is there pressure to be the next American to win the Ironman World Championship? Or is it, is, it, is it pressure and distraction, or is it a motivation? Yeah, it's definitely a motivation. It's an honor to, to you know, be uh, considered one of the American guys that can uh, you know, still put the fight, uh, fight at this race. But in all honesty, it's not something I focus, focus about. Um, for, you know, for me, if you're focusing on the result and you're not worrying about the process, you're doing something wrong. So when I'm out there on race day, it's, it's just you know, focusing on the process that can achieve the result I want to achieve. Thank you very much, Tim O'Donnell, USA. With Rennie Shield hats. My, uh, my real question is, what, 
do you admire most about what you've seen Rini do in her preparation for this race? And Rini, I'd like to know what you think or what impresses you most about watching Tim prepare for this race. Um, well, most importantly, they will be available for uh, sale soon. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple hundred of them. We got to figure out what to do with them. <laughs> but um, no, it's been an awesome year um, watching Rini. Um, putting myself as a husband aside, I've always um, been a fan of her career and, and, and uh, how she's been so smart um, over the years. But this year in particular, uh, what's really impressed me is how she's, you know, no matter the pressure that she's had to come back and, and show herself again, you know, to prove herself after all she's done. Uh, she still put Iz she still puts Izzy first all the time, uh, was it, whether it was nursing or you know um, sleep, all that stuff. Uh, Izzy's been the number one priority, and you know we're not getting any younger, so you know a little less training and a little more Izzy time isn't a bad thing. But um, I think it's uh, definitely been a positive influence on both of us. Yeah, obviously uh, I'm a big fan of Tio. Um, yeah, he he's always just gone about his business without any fuss and. I think the reason that I was drawn to him is because I feel like there are not many males that are as tough as him and I don't think as a professional female Ironman athlete you could be with a weak man so he's a very <laughs> tough man <laughs> and he, he man he can he can hurt himself and um, I admire that about him uh, never complains uh, works hard and um, although the complaints probably wouldn't go far in our household anyway um, but yeah, obviously, just his work ethic. He's a he's a tough human being, and um, and, and an amazing dad too to little Izzy. 